Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered about the intricacies of human behavior and what shapes our personalities? It's a fascinating area of study, and one that continues to intrigue psychologists and laypersons alike. One such personality trait, which often stirs up intense debate and interest, is narcissism. Characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others, narcissism isn't just a trait that develops overnight. It is often rooted in a person's early life experiences. Childhood, as many psychologists would attest, is a critical period in our lives. It is during these formative years that we learn about ourselves and the world around us. As we navigate through various experiences, we form our core beliefs, values, and, importantly, our personality traits. Among these traits, narcissism can be one of the most impactful, often leading to significant challenges in personal relationships and social interactions in adulthood. Research has identified several factors in childhood that could potentially contribute to the development of narcissism. There are, at least, five primary factors from childhood that can contribute to the development of narcissism. Together, they can lay the foundation for narcissistic tendencies to take shape. However, it's essential to remember that these factors are not deterministic, but rather, possible influences that can interact with a myriad of other variables. Without further ado, let's delve deeper to these factors. Number 1. Excessive Praise Praise is a double-edged sword. While it can boost a child's self-esteem and encourage positive behavior when used appropriately, it can also pave the way for narcissistic tendencies when used excessively. The reason for this is rather simple. Children, especially when they are very young, are in the process of forming their self-image. Their perception of themselves is heavily influenced by the feedback they receive from their primary caregivers, namely their parents. When a child is excessively praised, they may begin to develop a sense of grandiosity. They start to believe that they are special and superior to others, primarily because they've been consistently told so. This belief, if unchecked, can solidify into a pattern of thinking that is characteristic of narcissism. They may start to expect constant admiration and validation from others, a trait that is a hallmark of narcissistic personalities. Excessive praise can also distort a child's understanding of their abilities and achievements. They may begin to overestimate their skills, leading to an inflated sense of self-worth. When children are told they are the best, the smartest, or the most talented all the time, it can create an unrealistic self-image that is not resilient to the inevitable challenges and failures that life brings. Moreover, children who are excessively praised can develop a sense of entitlement. They might believe that they deserve special treatment solely because of their perceived superiority. This, in turn, can lead to a lack of empathy for others, as they may start to view others as less important or less deserving than themselves. However, it's crucial to note that not every child who receives excessive praise will develop narcissistic tendencies. Many factors can influence the development of one's personality, and praise is just one of them. It's the type, frequency, and context of the praise that matters. Praise that is focused on the effort rather than inherent traits, is given when genuinely deserved, and is balanced with constructive feedback can still promote healthy self-esteem and a positive self-image. Number 2. Abuse or Neglect The impact of abuse or neglect on a child's development cannot be overstated. These adverse childhood experiences can significantly affect a child's mental, emotional, and social development. When a child is abused or neglected, they often struggle to form a stable, positive sense of self. This struggle can manifest in various ways, one of which is the development of narcissistic tendencies. Abuse and neglect can lead to feelings of worthlessness and a profound sense of being unloved. To compensate for these negative feelings, a child may resort to developing an inflated sense of self. This excessive self-centeredness serves as a defense mechanism, a shield against the pain of feeling unimportant and unworthy. It convinces them that they are not just worthy, but superior to others, filling the void left by the lack of genuine love and care. Moreover, Children who have been abused or neglected may develop narcissistic tendencies as a way to exert control over their environment. They might have felt powerless in their abusive or neglectful situations, 
and adopting narcissistic behaviors can give them a sense of power and control. It's their way of ensuring they do not feel vulnerable again. Furthermore, these children may crave attention and admiration from others as they may not have received enough of it from their caregivers. This craving can manifest as a constant need for validation, a common characteristic of narcissistic individuals. They may believe that by being the center of attention, they can finally feel the love and care they lacked in their early years. However, it's important to note that not every child who experiences abuse or neglect will develop narcissistic behavior. Many factors, including the child's resilience, the presence of supportive figures in their life, and therapeutic interventions, can influence their development. It's also crucial to remember that while narcissistic behavior can be a result of abuse or neglect, it's not a justification for it. Understanding the root of such behavior can help in addressing it, but it doesn't excuse the negative impacts narcissistic behavior can have on others. Number 3. Parental Pressure and Expectations Parental expectations can significantly shape a child's self-perception and behavior. While having high expectations can sometimes motivate children to strive for success, it can also lead to unnecessary pressure and stress. When these expectations become exceedingly high or unrealistic, children may respond in various ways, one of which is developing narcissistic tendencies. High parental expectations can cause a child to overvalue themselves as they strive to meet these demands. Constantly being pushed to excel can lead children to develop an inflated sense of their abilities. They might start to believe they are superior to their peers, especially if they are frequently told they are the best or exceptional. This sense of superiority is a characteristic trait of narcissism. Additionally, to meet these high expectations, children may begin to disregard the feelings or needs of others. They might become overly focused on their achievements and lose sight of the importance of empathy and cooperation. This self-centeredness, often at the expense of others, is another hallmark of narcissistic behavior. Moreover, children under high parental pressure might also develop a sense of entitlement. They might believe that they deserve special treatment or privileges due to their perceived high status or achievements. This sense of entitlement, coupled with a lack of empathy, is a common trait in individuals with narcissistic tendencies. It's essential, however, to note that high parental expectations do not always lead to narcissism. The outcome largely depends on how these expectations are communicated and enforced. If expectations are paired with unconditional love, open communication, and a focus on effort rather than just outcomes, children are less likely to develop narcissistic tendencies and more likely to develop a healthy sense of self-worth. Number 4. Competitive Environment Competition is a part of life. It drives innovation, encourages resilience, and can lead to personal growth. However, when children are continually exposed to highly competitive environments, it can have unintended consequences. One such consequence can be the development of narcissistic tendencies, as children may adopt this behavior as a strategy to assert their superiority or to cope with the pressure. In a highly competitive environment, success often equates to worth. Children may learn to associate their value with their ability to outperform others. This can lead to an inflated sense of self, where they perceive themselves as superior due to their achievements. Over time, this inflated self-perception can solidify into narcissistic behavior. Furthermore, in their quest to stay ahead, these children may start to prioritize their own success over everything else. They may become self-centered, focusing solely on their needs, ambitions, and achievements. This self-centeredness is a common trait among individuals with narcissism. Additionally, children in competitive environments may start to belittle the success of others as a means to maintain their perceived superiority. They might dismiss others' achievements or view them as threats to their own superiority. This lack of empathy and tendency to degrade others are characteristic traits of narcissism. However, it is important to note that a competitive environment does not necessarily lead to narcissism in every child. Some children might thrive in such environments and develop resilience, determination, and healthy ambition. The outcome greatly depends on how competition is framed and managed by the adults in the child's life. If competition is presented as a means to learn, grow, and improve oneself rather than just a race to be the best, 
children are less likely to develop narcissistic tendencies. Number 5. Parental Narcissism Parental influence plays a significant role in shaping a child's personality and behavior. This influence becomes particularly crucial when a parent exhibits narcissistic tendencies. Children, being naturally inclined to learn from their caregivers, may emulate these behaviors, leading to the development of their own form of narcissism. A child with a narcissistic parent may start to mirror the behaviors they observe at home. They might adopt an inflated sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy, or a constant need for admiration, all characteristic traits of narcissism. This imitation can be a way of fitting in with the family dynamics or seeking approval from the narcissistic parent. Additionally, children may develop narcissistic tendencies as a defense mechanism in response to their narcissistic parent's behavior. For instance, they might inflate their self-worth to protect themselves from the parent's criticism or neglect. Or they might adopt a self-centered attitude as a way of asserting their autonomy and identity in a household where their needs and feelings are often overlooked. Furthermore, growing up with a narcissistic parent can lead to a distorted understanding of healthy relationships and social interactions. Children may learn that self-centered behavior, lack of empathy, and manipulation are acceptable ways of interacting with others. This skewed understanding can potentially lead to narcissistic behavior as they grow older. However, it's important to note that not all children of narcissistic parents will develop narcissism. Factors such as the presence of other positive role models, the child's inherent temperament, and therapeutic interventions can play a significant role in shaping the child's personality. It's also crucial to remember that understanding the origins of narcissistic behavior can aid in addressing it, but it doesn't excuse the negative impacts such behavior can have on others. In conclusion, narcissism is a complex personality trait that can be influenced by various factors during childhood. From excessive praise to abuse or neglect, from high parental expectations to competitive environments, and even the presence of narcissistic parents each of these factors can potentially contribute to the development of narcissistic tendencies. However, it's crucial to remember that these are not deterministic. Many children exposed to these situations do not become narcissists. They are potential influences that interact with a myriad of other variables, including a child's inherent temperament, the presence of supportive figures in their life, and their resilience. By understanding these influences, we can aim to foster environments that promote healthy self-esteem and empathy, which are vital for the well-being of our children and society. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the roots of narcissism. If you found this content valuable, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment sharing your thoughts, and share it with others who might benefit from this information. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you for your support.